Black Myth Wukong transports players to a captivating dark fantasy realm, drawing inspiration from the rich tapestry of Chinese mythology. The narrative is rooted in the timeless 16th century classic, Journey to the West, penned by Wu Chengen. As we step into the shoes of Wukong, the legendary Monkey King, we embark on a perilous quest to uncover the truths concealed within a magnificent legend. And you can take my word for it. This game is truly one of the most ambitious and impressive action experiences I've encountered. Its visuals are absolutely stunning, the combat is exhilarating, and while it offers a significant challenge, the satisfaction of conquering it is unparalleled. Additionally, the setting is refreshingly distinct, rich with elements of Chinese culture, just to name a few of its outstanding features. Join me on an exciting journey through the mesmerizing world of Chinese mythology with my detailed walkthrough series of Black Myth Wukong. Together, we will explore the intricate storyline, breathtaking visuals, and complex gameplay mechanics, unraveling the enigmas of this universe and witnessing the grand battles that make this game a must experience for action adventure enthusiasts. Whether you're a veteran gamer or just starting out, Black Myth Wukong guarantees an unforgettable adventure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. Won't you step in? Get more shots and you'll be high and dry.
sufferings. But before our master returns from the valley, we've got to tough it out. Tough it out to survive. The lads went out to see the altar the other day. Said it's stinking worse than ever. And covered in bones. Not from men or livestock, but littered in the remains of our kin. Curse that furry jackass. Ooh, just wait. Wait until Master hears about this! Hush! Hush, you fool! Our restoration! We can't say it out loud now! Oh, your poor brother and... Delivering itself all the way to this dump for our lunch. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
规矩天理，哪个说了才算？哪个放人不管？你瞧那书背到家人情，可怎么就落得个子王夫桃死不喊？
Blackwind mounted to here, we meet again. Those rats. They tied me up on sight for no reason. Joking, they prepare me for their king's table. Ah, this place crawls with Yaogwai's eager for a bite. But don't worry. If they bite into me, they'll bite more than they can chew. This place is a jumble of rats and cats, all at each other's throats. And the Yellow Wind Sage keeps silent. How odd. Who would swear fealty to such a king? Let's make haste and go. Never linger at a peril such as this. Just leave. These rats are no match for me. And I can make my own way out. You are a skinny one. But these rats aren't picky eaters. Flee. The quicker the better. I won't die here with my task undone. There are too many eyes around here. We'll meet again if fate wills it.
noise again! You're meddling and say death! They either us. We're both done for. Our misfortune. The king honored Rath. That's why the first thing that.
Atone for your past now. No! Are you mad? Go and hunt the monkey. I'm your father.
Their minds yearn to ascend. Yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time. In tombs of somber gray.
Bloody hell. What's the hold up this time? Soak your offerings, and don't breed more rats. If you dare to muck up the King's practice again, I'll serve your dimwit soul up for supper. Myself. Ain't you that old loser? Where'd you come from? Your bird-faced mock. <laughs> Who cares anyway? This body of yours is perfect for the art of rock solid.
Who goes there? Take him down!
Raise thy cup, seek answers on high. Who defies death neath every sky? Oh, I messed up my mission. Go find something to sober me up. Oh, oh, how refreshing. You woke me up. Thanks. <laughs> Enough with the chit chat. My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings no spoils. Ugh, you should eat more, skinny. Off we go to the Temple of Crouching Tiger. I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. Rat meat is insufferable. <sighs> Help me score a tasty treat, will you? I uh, drive me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm. I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Mm. And somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Hmm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. Hmm. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. Mm. Yeah. It's the right time now. Ugh! <laughs> 
The intensity! <laughs> this is good. You and I should explore that realm together. I... Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own end. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Gwai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongue monk using the new power, and battles with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Gwai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Lingji, Tung Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. Uh, uh, uh.
indeed must his head be hung for all to see. For what do you know? Must the mortals they govern the world free? For what do you know? not known how to be. For what do you know? Must mercy and soul
I'm here, little monkey. Let me hear what you have to
千万足，再足怕你也无他。Easy, easy. 我是有莫强求，方便法门归结。Monkey, let me hear my rattle drum.
I'm here, little monkey. Let me hear my rattle drum. Where is my path? Did you see him? I was scared. They were all around me. They took me. Part of people from the village and fed them to a fly. That's a lie! That's not my path. So long. I hope his wounds have healed too. Come down and play with us. Rotten mutt. And he dares bear our father's title under that yellow wind, why? Brother or not, I will have my vengeance. The kid's dad ran off, but now you've shown up to me!
Oi, lad, come here, will ya? Some bastard has got me trapped on this rock with his spell. Even the rocks on the road have come to life. In that cave, there's a rock guai lurking. Holding secrets, I bet. Should you uncover the reason, I shall find me way out. Rocks turning into guais. Tis no small matter. Still here, eh? You ain't expecting this bat, are you? Shameful! Be gone, you greedy inept wretch! Get lost! Disgrace! Get lost! You disgrace! Get lost! Expecting another treasure, are you? You wicked twerp! But I, I can't be handing it over to you for free. Come back later to trade with Will. Easy there. I'll need a bit of time to get restocked. lad from the village. Tis Karma, I tell you. His old man murdered neighbors, all to cure the sickly boy. Surely them villagers would come at the lad for revenge. But they've all gone now. Wandering ghosts they've all become. Why you be staring at me, eh? Why would I help her? I was scared too. Aren't you expecting too much from an old man? Rarest stuff to seize, guaranteed to please. Any goodies catch your eye?
Mm-hmm. 
You traveler, back to where you belong, or meet your end here. I am. You scorn my words? How have you served at the gates, Jenna? <laughs> Might. <laughs> Brave soul, why not use this might to aid my king's good deed? <sighs> Our king comes from Mount Lingshan. His kind heart seeks to end the place's suffering. The Yao Guai's skills run deep, yet with your help, our chances will be doubled. The king is just ahead. With my meager skills, I cannot join you. Please, go aid him quickly. Truth be known, being a father of two little ones, my life is not mine to give.
You bested my vanguard! <laughs> then you do indeed have skills. That Yao Guai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. <sighs> there is only one way to draw out this Yao Guai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then the Yao Guai will be mine. an end of the world. Each day, the sun sets and boils the sea. The boiling hiss is sharp enough to ravage babies in their cradles. The people sound drums to counter the impact, but the drums draw this Yao Guai. The vessel this Yao Guai holds protects it from me. Your boldness in venturing here is clear. Aid me with this. It's right here, beneath us in the sands. Together, we shall rid the people of this wretched Yao Guai.
Folks behalf, I thank you. Besides every 
sage of villain resides. Beneath every mountain an abyss lies. Where disparities persist, bloodbaths may arise. I cannot escape, and nor can you! A skinny wretch like you has come far enough!
I play the other fool. You stole the Earl and spell and snatched the great sage's relic. You even took your master's heed. Just for a short reign over this barren valley. Sattva Lingji of New Mount Sumeru, the warden of this rat. After the great sage's passing, his six senses were scattered across the mortal realm. This thieving rat chanced upon one of them, yet hindered by his meager might, he could not absorb its power. Thus he schemed with wicked intent, a victim of his deceit. I had my head taken by him. The sense requires such a grand container to release its power. I should bear the blame for his reign of havoc upon this ridge again. <sighs> Through your valor and sagacity, order has been restored. You are the sole worthy one to keep it. Please, keep it secure in my stead.
Men, beasts, Buddhas, Yaoguais. Each of them bears a distinct root from birth, superior and inferior. None should disturb what's decided. Am I right, Sun Wukong? <laughs> 